Hey, it's Heather, and today I'm having a dinner party. I'm cooking a lot of different things, but two of the things are recipes I wanted to do for Soka.TV. Mashed potatoes, your regular basic mashed potatoes, which are wonderful, and a wonderful dish for the holidays, sweet potato casserole. I'm gonna start with the mashed potatoes. Uh, russet Idaho potatoes, peel them, slice them up to about two inch pieces, uh, boil them in salted water until tender, and then you drain them. Now, this is where you would typically get your masher out and get mashing, but I'm not going to do that. Too easy, sorry. I'm going to use a ricer. This is a ricer that you can get at any houseware store. I think this one was $8.95. And it just uh, makes for a better mashed potato. You, of course, can use your regular masher. I would not use one of those like whip hand, mac hand um, blenders because uh, then you'll get glue. So this is how you rice it. Very simple. You just take a bunch, put it in your potato. And there you have it. What I'm gonna do now is stir in the other ingredients. I um, use butter for my classic version, which this is. Um, not more than a stick. <laughs> Obviously, the richer you want it, the more butter you add. But when I'm, I, I wanna maintain the heat as well as possible. Uh, so the milk, when I stir in the milk, uh, I use warm milk. And you can use, um, I have low fat here, by all means use low fat. Um, if you want a richer deal, add a little uh, whole fat, a little cream. And you basically just mix it so it's your desired consistency. I also feel like uh, pepper, underrated. Gotta have a lot of black pepper. And of course, salt. You know, sometimes mashed potatoes are a little more than like a sodium and fat delivery system, but that's not what we want to do here. It's rich, but we don't want to kill anybody. Okay. And then I'm going to let it stay on the stove warm. Take your pot, put in a couple of inches of water. You don't need it too high. Boil it. Low simmer. Put your metal pan with your uh, potatoes in it. And then what I often do is just... Uh, Take some good old saran wrap and cover it up. Now, the, the fire should be low. It's a low simmer. So don't sweat the uh, burning. And this will keep, you know, certainly for a good hour. Right now, on to sweet potato casserole. So I have my already cooked sweet potatoes. Again, you just slice them, boil them until tender, and that's it. Uh, so don't worry about if there's a little discoloration, it'll all come out in the wash. So I am indeed going to use my old school masher here. Um, you just mash it up. Um, you could put it through a ricer, but why? Just more work. Um, but you do want to make sure the potatoes are very tender. So we're going to put butter in, of course. I'm going to start with about half a stick. And um, sugar. They're already sweet. They're sweet potatoes. Again, it might be something you want to taste to assess how much sugar you're going to add. These are not that sweet. So I might kick up the sugar more than I normally would. I use a combination of brown and white. I find, of course, the brown has a richer flavor, but the white just gets that sweetness thing up. So I put the brown in really earlier so that you get it um, melted. And then you just basically mix it up to taste. Now, the thing that really makes this into a casserole as opposed to just mashed sweet potatoes is that we're going to bake it again. And the reason is I'm gonna also add um, some milk and an egg. So it's almost like a custard. And you can flavor this however you like. If you like a little almond extract, throw some in. If you like, um, a little uh, toasted pecans, that's cool too. So you know, here I have my milk, it is not warmed, and I'm just gonna beat an egg into the milk. I have about a cup, that should do it. And uh, I have uh, about three pounds of sweet potatoes. If I was doing five pounds of sweet potatoes, I would do two eggs and beat that up. And uh, stir it in. Now, like I said, you can flavor it however you want. I like orange. So I just squeeze a little orange in it because it gives it a nice, it won't be just sweet. It'll have another flavor going on in there. And it's a natural sweet potatoes and oranges. 
This is the classic dish that people top with marshmallows. I don't top them with marshmallows, why? They don't need any bit more sugar. So I just put, do it plain, I'm gonna put in hmm, a teaspoon of vanilla and um, cinnamon and nutmeg, less nutmeg. Nutmeg's got a lot of power to it. You do not need to overdo the nutmeg. Oh, one secret ingredient. It's salt, just a pinch of salt because it has so much sweetness, you wanna sort of give a little complexity, what I call a little bottom to the sweetness, a little finish. Now, I'm gonna put it in the oven, half an hour. So my guests are here. I'm frying up some chicken. I got a little jerk wings in the oven. Uh, I want to give a little taste to my uh, double potato thing going here. So I have my lovely and warm mashed potatoes. Oh, and of course my sweet potato casserole looking good. Hardly a meal, but I'm just doing a taste. The wine is a Viognier Santa Julia, an Argentinian uh, company. $10 a bottle, perfect for this lovely, lean holiday season. But I'm gonna give it a taste. Uh, mashed potatoes go with everything. For wines, for recipes, for much, much more, please hit the website, sogood.tv.